Well, hello and a very warm welcome to Business Today TV. I am Chetan Bhutani. Well, as we draw close to 2023 and welcome a new year 2024, we of course cannot start a new year by discussing what all happened in India's automotive sector in 2023. Well, with record number of sales month on month and record number of production also happening, and also the semiconductor issue really stopping the automobile sector in India, 2023 was a roller coaster ride with great sales. Well, now I'm going to talk to you about how 2023 was uh, for the auto sector from the government's perspective, and give you an insight on how the government really supported the sector. Well, the Ministry of Heavy Industries took centre stage with visionary initiatives to promote sustainable mobility and bolster the electric vehicle sector. The year 2023 witnessed significant support from the government, particularly in the electric vehicle and automobile component sectors. Well, under the faster adoption and manufacturing of electric vehicles in India Phase Two scheme, also known as the Phase Two scheme, the government reaffirmed its commitment to cleaner and greener public transport. With an enhanced outlay from rupees 10,000 crores to rupees 11,500 crores, the scheme focuses on electrifying public and shared transportation. Well, notably, a subsidy of rupees 5,228 crores has been granted to EV manufacturers, resulting in the sale. Of more than 11 lakh 53 thousand electric vehicles as of December 1, 2023. Well, the Fame 2 scheme has driven the electrification of public transportation, particularly the electric buses, to an all new highs. If we look at the municipal corporations and state transport undertakings, have already placed supply orders for about 3,390 e-buses, with 3,037 deployed, and an additional outlay of 3,472 are under process. Well, the scheme has also funded the establishment of 148 electric vehicle public charging stations, which is of course a very low number. But eventually, with time, the government is going to work. A substantial boost will definitely come with the announcement of rupees 800 crores under the Fame 2 for PSU oil marketing companies to set up about more than 7,400 fast charging stations nationwide. Well, in a bid to enhance India's manufacturing capabilities and exports in the automobile sector. The government introduced the production-linked incentive, or the PLI scheme, with a total outlay of rupees twenty-five thousand nine hundred and thirty-eight crores over a period of five years. Well, this scheme, if you see, aims to incentivize the domestic manufacturing of advanced automotive technology products, with eighteen companies under the Champion OEM category and sixty-seven companies under the Component Champion. Estimated investment stands at about rupees sixty-seven thousand six hundred and ninety crores. Well, recognizing the importance of energy storage solutions, the government approved the PLI scheme for advanced chemistry cell and battery storage, also known as the ACC scheme, with an outlay of about rupees eighteen thousand one hundred crores for seven years. Well, three approved firms have now signed the program agreement to set up manufacturing facilities for a thirty gigawatt hour ACC capacity with an estimated investment of about fourteen thousand eight hundred and ten crores. Well, this initiative aims to strengthen India's manufacturing capabilities in the ACC sector, which is, of course, the government in fact plans to declare it as a sunrise sector. The ministry in 2023 withdrew the subsidy. In fact, it was all not a very good ride for the automobile manufacturers due to some issues. The subsidy on electric two-wheelers, which led to a decline of sales in June 2023, but saw an immediate recovery in the following months and led to the record sales during the festive season. Well, in summary, the Ministry of Heavy Industries has played a pivotal role in shaping India's electric mobility landscape. In fact, the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, in setting up the technical standards and dealing with uh, the uh, electric vehicle to fire incidents as well, have been playing a critical role in managing the the mobility landscape with strategic interventions, fostering innovation, sustainability, and self-reliance in the automotive sector. Well, 2024 could be a muted year for automobile sector, but yes. As far as the launches go, the Indian automobile companies, the OEMs, the component manufacturers are all set to bring in new launches, new facelifts, and of course, with the much-anticipated entry of Tesla, it could be a great and a roller coaster year for the Indian automobile space. Well, stay tuned to Business Today TV for more such reports. Stay tuned.